Well, with me, you're going to go on another personal journey. And, um, you know, even though uh, I had something to do with uh, bringing the CAC downtown with Kathleen Nathan and several others, uh, I prefer to talk about what I'm doing now. So let's roll them. Here's an aerial view of the El Rancho Vegas in 1948, about the time I was born. It's the corner of Sahara and the Strip, which has a lot of meaning for me now. And uh, these 65 years have brought about a lot of changes. You notice there's not, not even industrial road. Here I am in the center of the photo. Uh, I'm at preschool at Las Vegas High School. My parents moved to Las Vegas in 1936 and taught for many years at Las Vegas High. And I grew up in that beautiful Art Deco building. That was my playground. My parents' pioneering efforts uh, here in Las Vegas inspired me. They loved Las Vegas. Here's a picture of me when I was 16 years old for the Las Vegas Sun. They were honoring my artwork in high school. And there's me graduating from UNLV, the first graduating class uh, from UNLV in, B in the BFA program. And uh, here's my son and my, myself in 1983. That's Brooke. And, uh, this was a shot by David Brown for the Las Vegas Sun. And uh, these were lean times where I was teaching at both UNLV and, and at Community College, which is now College of Southern Nevada. And uh, I came back to Las Vegas in 73, and I dealt 21 this whole time to pay back my bills for my Master of Fine Arts degree from the University of Washington, and then uh, taught. But once I got back, I uh, got involved in Zen Buddhism and uh, uh, got involved in a very interesting project. Uh, well, 20 years ago, I, I uh, got involved in, in practicing Zen. My wife and I bought this property on East Harmon and turned it into Zen Center of Las Vegas. And uh, it's a two-acre parcel uh, with gardens and uh, pond and pool and and orchard, and it's a, well, there's, a, there's my pet turtle. <laughs> and uh, the first thing I designed was the pond, and I had a great time designing the entire thing, designing all the gardens, and, and that's how I spent my last three years, uh, is designing uh, this Zen Center. And here's a great shot of the uh, pond area, and we have this bridge that makes a really good uh, background for photo opportunities for weddings and, and uh, for conferences. We've, uh, we've had some great conferences at, uh, at the Zen Center. We've actually kind of put the Zen Center on the Zen map, so to speak, in the United States. In 2012, we had a uh, uh, grand opening in which we had seven Zen masters from all around the world here. And, uh, it was a truly fantastic event, sort of unpublicized. Here is the uh, Dharma room, which I take particular pride in, designed this. The floor is made out of cork, which is a really wonderful, uh, a really wonderful uh, surface. It not only insulates, but it, it's very quiet. And the cool thing about it is it doesn't kill the tree. They harvest it every 10 years. This is part of the garden. This is the series of uh, 18 Lohan, uh, hand carved out of uh, green granite. And uh, they represent the enlightenment of the Buddha. I especially got a kick out of the guy cleaning his ear. This is our beautiful bell uh, that's quite old and it has a voice, the voice of uh, the cosmos. And uh, I mean, you can feel it right here every time it rings. And this is Jeff Kitz's, Zen master Jeff Kitz's who comes here quite often from Berkeley's uh, Gateless Gate Zen Center. Here's a shot in front of the shrine that I created, the Buddha Shrine, and this is from that 2012 opening ceremony. And uh, so we have many pathways to walk in meditation. We have uh, a great orchard. This is a shot that I'm particularly fond of, uh, Zen master Mark Houghton. Uh, talked for 15 minutes and it was the funniest, the funniest bit I've ever heard in my life. So we were rolling. I, I don't know. It's, I, I didn't realize Zen could be so funny. <laughs> and this is a, a shot of the 
you know, sort of of the uh, altar that uh, we've set up. So that's some of what I've been doing for the last three years. And uh, I'm hoping that you all could come out and participate and take a look at it. And, and uh, this is my current work that I'll be showing at Trifecta Gallery uh, in March of 2014. It's called Indra's Jewels. And uh, it's made up of bits and pieces of Las Vegas signage. And I recombine them together in sort of a mandala meditative form. And uh, this is just crass commercialism right here. <laughs> so I hope that you'll come see the uh, show in uh, 2014 in March and uh, check out the rest of Indra's Jewels. Thank you.